Within the next couple of minutes, I will demonstrate how to palpate hip crest and ASAS. Palpating ASAS, this is the point in, uh, front, uh, in the frontal portion of the hip crest will be essential in order to locate rectus femoris later on. So first of all, let's place our fingertips on our hips. Right? Just like if you were, if your grandfather, let's say your grandmother, were a little bit angry with you. Right? So you're putting your fingertips on the sides and your thumb goes a little bit inside. And as a result, as you can see, the uh, hip bone is between my thumb and my fingertips. And I can squeeze it gently and feel the top portion of the hip bone. So let's try to palpate all the way to the front uh, with your thumb applying gentle pressure on the top portion of the hip bone, which is the hip crest. Once you find uh, the hip crest in the front, slowly move to the back and try to go as far as possible into your back. And gradually it will get more and more difficult actually to feel the hip bone because there are more and more tissues covering it. So go as far as you can. Now this is basically the, the hip crest, the top portion of your hip bone. Now let's go back to the front and at some point as you go to the front you're going to lose the sense of the bone, of the hard bone under your thumbs. And this point is called ASIS. So if you go below you're not going to feel hardness of the bone, instead you should be feeling softness of your muscle tissue. So try to find this uh, edgy point sticking out and try to go across it from side to side, then from the bottom to the up and make circular movement, making sure that you are well aware of where ASIS is. Uh, try to practice this exercise throughout the day. Uh, practice is the key here. You just need to build a connection from your brain uh, through your fingertips to your body to actually recognize where this important bony landmark is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks very much and uh, good luck with your practice. Thank you.